Just as Vladimir Putin prepares to take office, a Russian fugitive is offering big money for his arrest. Exiled Russian tycoon Boris Berezovsky is reportedly offering a bounty to anyone who detains Putin at the inauguration. Our correspondent Ivor Bennett joins us live from London with the details. Ivor, so what exactly is the exiled oligarch's plan? Well, his plan is to have Putin arrested for what he calls the illegal seizing of power. Uh, so he's offering up a bounty, what used to be um, 50 million rubles, but now one news source in Russia is claiming that he's increased that 10 times to 500 million rubles, which, which equates to around 17 million dollars. Now he's uh, and he's offering that to, to anyone, basically, any member of the public who will who will uh, arrest the president-elect, uh, whom he calls a highly dangerous cri criminal ahead of his inauguration uh, on Monday. So he's advertising this bounty on his Facebook page, his live journal uh, blog, which is a site very big in Russia. And he has a number of followers, uh, in fact. And he's appealing to the general public, but not just the general public, also even uh, um, parts of Putin's inner circle, like his bodyguards, asking them to, to start what would be a mutiny. Um, and he's ultimately wants, obviously, to see the opposition in power, the growing uh, popular protest movement. Um, and he's even calling on the, uh, head, the prosecutor general's office in Russia to, what, to, to restore what he calls constitutional order. And so he's clearly aligning himself here with the popular protest movement that we've seen recently in Moscow. Now, how legal do you think attempts like these are to interfere with Russia's internal affairs? Well, Berezovsky uh, seems to think it's, it's perfectly legal. He's, he's saying that uh, if Putin does uh, become a, a pres president of Russia for a third time, then he will be in breach of the Constitution because he claims that the, the wording around uh, whether someone can ha uh, run for president a third time is very vague. But at the moment, that's only Berezovsky who, cla who claims this. Uh, um, and let's not forget either that Berezovsky is in fact a wanted man in Russia. He's been on the run there uh, since, well, for the good part of a decade now. He fled Russia um, back in the early part of uh, Putin's first presidential term after falling out with the president. Uh, he fled Russia after uh, there was an investigation into his ownership of, a, of uh, a large chunk of state assets back then. And since then, he's been living in the UK. Uh, where he sought asylum um, on his living off his dwindling wealth um, and uh, he's perfectly happy basically to live here and hoping that Britain won't extradite him and so clearly it's very much in his interest that he inspires this popular protest movement and clearly that he sponsors it as well. All right, RT's correspondent Ivor Bennett live from London. Thank you.